Hello, welcome back to the Spider's Web. And as you can see, the uh, Sniper Scouts are painted, well, undercoated rather. And just in case you're wondering why the tips of the guns and the back of the um, missile launcher aren't painted, well, the simple fact of the matter is when you put your finger down your sticky tack and you push that in so you can paint the rest of it and then before you can carry on and finish it starts raining then you have to come in <laughs> that bit's got missed well it's not got missed it just hasn't been finished off yet I can do that with a brush that isn't a problem okay so what are we going to do first well seeing has uh, has has seeing as this guy is complete let's do it so this is the sergeant oh dear so as I said he's going to be part of my um, Salamander's army so we want greens and the greens we're going to be using Dark Angel Green, Goblin Green and Scorpion Green They're for his uniform we also need um, a grey um, now the worst the one that I really want to use uh, oh it's here, it's not out that is Administratum Grey we also need Abaddon Black so we have those colours first of all and then we need Iron Breaker and that's for all the metal parts and then we need <laughs> oh dear the amount of things you need just to get a simple model like this one. What are you doing, you silly dog? You're wrecking the place for me. Um, let's have. Let's see what would be a good combination. Ungar flesh and Kislev flesh, obviously, for his flesh. And we need Screaming Skull as well to do a little bit of mixing and we might use a bit of white later on we don't know yet so let's see how we get on okay first off we're going to get our dark angel green and this is going to go on everywhere that is green that's going to have any green on at all so that means the cape is going to be this and we're just blop it on no, I mean, I'm not. This, as you know, is the old colour name. I cannot remember what the. In fact, I don't know what the new one is because I haven't bought any. But I know I will be having to go and look. But obviously, if you want to buy it, there's a conversion chart on the uh, Games Workshop website, or if you go into a shop whoever's serving you will uh, will help and tell you which one it actually is before we try selling you everything else in the shop um, oh so here we go so all this is being done I'm leaving the inside the lining of the cape black There we are. So that's why I'm not painting the inside. All that's going to be painted here is just the the outside and the bottom of the cape. Okay, so that's 
there. And looking at the box where the blue is, um, that's the way it's going to look. So gloves, the chest plate, um, it doesn't look like he's wearing a helmet, which looks like he's got a bald head, so don't need to worry about that part. Um, so it's the chest plate, the bit between his legs, his gloves, his shoulder uh, pauldrons. There you go. So that's all there is that's going to be green. Now there is going to be a slight difference with the way I do these. The, um, the green that I will be using for what I put on the cape isn't going to look the same as the rest of this where the armour is because I'm going to do it completely different. I'm going to try and give it a um, what you call it a camouflage effect for the cape and for the but the rest of it is going to be the, the usual uh, salamander's green, the way I've painted the Space Marines. So, I'm going to do the belt. At least I'm assuming it's a belt. And what we'll say is a cod piece, although it isn't. His gloves, obviously the skull isn't going to be green, so we just watch out for that. There we go. And this glove as well. Tumty tumty tum, tumty tumty two. Here we are. I'm just trying to work out whether he's actually using fingerless gloves because it looks like it on this one. I think he is. So it's just going to be. Well it's not fingerless gloves, but it's like a, an arm. But his his fingers are are free from it. So that's that bit they're on. And now the parts on the guns. Um, I'm not actually sure whether I'm going to do any on the guns themselves or whether to just leave some of it black and then do other bits um, in different colours. But I do want one of these cables to be green the other one will be red I think so I'm going to have to get the red paint out as well and so I'll do this one green we'll do the other one red as they're both opposites on the colour chart there we are So those on the green. Next. We'll have the um what you may call it. Uh not administrative some grey, where are we? We'll have the iron breaker, which I'm going to use instead of bolt gun metal. I know it's a little bit paler than bolt gun, bolt gun metal, but I 
I've, I don't think I've got the lead belcher, which is the new name for bolt gun metal. I'll have another look while I'm waiting for these to dry in a second. I'm going to just slightly dry brush over that. I'm going to be going over some more of this again with the black so it's not all going to stay that way. Um, these parts here were the cables attached to the gun I think I'm going to do with this as well. So it's just those two little bits there. And they'll have a, a black wash over it so I'm not too worried about them getting done and not forgetting our um, metal bits that's going to be on his head. There we are. And I think that is it. What we're going to do so far. There are other things I forgot I need out as well. So for the camouflage for the um, the cape, we're going to be using Castellan and Elysian Green. There's a lot of paint colours that go into doing a figure. You may have noticed this. Um, we also need, just for the other cable, the scab red and when I can see it, the blood red, which oh, is already out. So it's scab red and blood red. And to be honest, I think I'm going to use these now, just because it's a very small area and it's not going to interfere with anything else I'm doing. As I say, it's just the two cables that are going to be done in this. Um, we're just doing the base coat at the moment, which is just the scab red. Oops, I've just gone over a bit of the green. have missed something that I've just noticed. And I wanted the uh, iron breaker out, not the administratum grey. So I'll just get this out now and give this a bit of a tweak. There we are. I'll do that buckle there as well. Um, other bits and pieces on the gun, for example, um, these lumpy bits here, I can always go over again later on as I've finished doing most of the detail and highlighting that I'm not worried about at all at the moment. So, there we have it. So I think that's it for the metal for the time being. What we're going to do now is... ...his skin. We're going to be starting off with the darker of the two colours, which is the Ungar Flesh. And just go over his skin with the ungo flesh as per usual. I'm just trying to get the base coat done for this video, and then in the next video, I can come along and do the um, oh, highlighting. Here we go. 
So that's his head done. I may yet try and make it look as though he's got a shaved head. But they've got the um, what you call it's coming through the uh, her follow her. We've got a bit of growth of her stubble. That's the word I'm looking for. You've got some stubble. I'll try, I'm going to try and have a go and see if I can do that. I have seen this on people's figures and it does look quite good. But I've never been able to do it myself. So I'm going to have a try with these. Whether it's successful or not, I don't know. But you've got to have a try, don't you? So there's the young girl flesh. I know it doesn't look much at the moment, but we're going to have a wash over that a bit later. And it's not going to be our usual Agrax Earth Shade. So it's going to be one that I've heard is good for skin tone. I've tried it before. It's the what was it called? Called again? Let's have a look. See if we can find it. Druichi Violet. That's the one supposed to be really good for skin tone. Gives a natural skin tone, so I'm going to be using that over his skin. Next, we're going to be using our old friend Tin Bits. We've not seen this out for a while. And this is going to be doing the Eagle wings and the skull or the winged skull on his chest ready for the shining gold dry brushing I'm just going to go on over the top so that's that done and I think everything now is done as base coated on this left in fact not quite everything is done because I forgot his boots and his boots I'm not having as black I'm going to have tanned boots as it were so I want something of a little dark colour of brown which I'm going to use dried bark as you've just seen and now we can do his boots and I'm going to do a few more things as well in this colour. Um, like, uh, he's got his pouch there and a few belts and straps and things that I can do. So let's just try and open this a little bit more and then I can get in a bit easier. These paints, like the old ones, um, they seem to go on very, very well, and they're all, they already feel as though they're watered down slightly. Like the older paints, I don't know if I've mentioned this before, the older paints seem to be quite thick and didn't cover terribly well. These seem to be a bit thinner and cover extremely well. I need to do so. Oh, I'm clean my brush out, and as the the skin is now done and dried, I'm going to get the Druichi Violet out. 
want to go over his skin with this So apparently it's supposed to be really good as a shadow tone for skin. And once that's dried, we can come back and do the highlighting. Um, but well, I've got the camera out. I'm going to show you now what I've done with my what I call Angry Bee. It goes under the name of Storm Talon, so I'll put you to one side. We've got this part, which is the front section, as you can probably tell. That gun moves quite freely. Both up and down and side to side, so it pan tilts incredibly well. So there's some sticky tack there and there where I've screwed it down, or where I've stuck it down. Then we have the base. And then we have the main body of the craft. Oh yeah, I've got some sticky tack in there as well because I stuck it down. So we could get the inside done. But okay, so that's the main cockpit area. It's got the aquila there. If you uh, what you call it, targets, sights and things like that. And that will go I think that. Oops. Oh yeah. That didn't sound pleasant, did it? That goes over there like so. Ah, that's better. Got in. So there we go. Leave that part. I've done the body for the Tech Marine, which is here. He's the pilot. And he will sit in here, making sure that he's facing front. Anyway, so that's that's what we've got so far with the Angry Bee. Quite happy with this. It's a little. I don't know what I was expecting with this. I don't know what it was supposed to be. I was expecting it to be as big or as small as it is, but, you know, I quite like it. What I'm going to do now is glue this, this engine together. And I'm not going to glue that part because I don't really need to because it's going to be secure enough as is. Whoops. I'll do that. And... that now what I don't like to do is glue paint to paint so what I'm going to do with this is just gently with the emery board let's go over and take the layer of paint that's on this particular edge okay. and the edge is going to be stuck there Mind you, that's not got any on. I've well, not got much on anyway. I could probably get away with just doing a little bit here and there for this. Just like so. And just... Like that, and we'll 
use the back of the knife and just scrape. I don't know whether you've seen my video for weather for battle damage on tanks. If you have, you will notice that my um, salamander army isn't. Um, as uh, standard as others, I have a lot of uh, flame decoration on my tanks, and this storm tower is not going to be any exception. There's going to be quite a lot of let's say flame designs on this as well. This glue is coming out too quickly at the moment now, I don't know what's up with it. But there's the engine done. I'm just wiping over there because I've got a spot of glue on it. Oh, and this part here. Um, I'm going to just go over that part and that part and hopefully that will hold it on. I said the right engine done and that fits on there, it doesn't get glued but I'm ready it's looking a little somewhat like okay so that's the upgrade update rather of my uh, storm talent I hope you enjoyed the video uh, join me next time when I will be finishing off our sergeant here our scout sergeant uh, until then take care God bless and bye for now